Hi, I'm Kristen. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Skylar. And I'm Holden. And we are the Dean Team. And today on our five night Western Caribbean cruise on the Disney Dream, it is Marble, Marble Day, Day at Sea. What do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's, Let's go. go. I wanted to give a little bit of a rundown of how the character meet and greets work on Marvel Day at Sea. There were three character meet and greets that we could sign up for in advance on the app. That was Marvel HQ, Asgard, and Guardians. There are also a lot of character meet and greets throughout the day now that we can see them in the app. We did see that some of those characters are also meeting on day four and day five, so we might be meeting some of the Marvel characters on other days because there is no way that you can fit them all in today. But there are certain characters that are only meeting today, and then we have heard that there will be so many characters roaming the ship today too, so we're gonna try to find and spot as many Avengers as we can and hopefully get to get some pictures or autographs not waiting in those long lines because I'm assuming the lines are going to be pretty long today. I've also gone through the app and tried to favorite the things that we definitely want to see today. There's a show with Doctor Strange that's in the Walt Disney Theater. There's a USO show at Evolution. There's an Avengers training initiative that happens in the Oceaneer Club a couple times during the day and also once on the pool deck. There are also sessions where you can learn how to draw Marvel characters and then of course there will be the deck parties this evening that we will definitely be attending. We can definitely tell the ship is moving. Or it's just magic. Or it's just magic. You got pixie dust. Marvel Day at Sea pixie dust. Mickey Tactoe. <laughs> that is so cute. The pieces. Oh wow, those are nice. It's Marvel Day at Sea! They're getting ready. You can tell it's Marvel Day at Sea. The Savage She-Hulk. Holden has a smiley face. Mickey plate today. And we have a wonderful view. Skyla's got the breakfast of champions over here. I like how you're protecting your Avenger shirt though. Yeah, dad made me do it. I didn't want to have that conversation with all the chocolate before pictures. You're the real superhero mm -hmm. of the day. And we have this because Scott ordered an omelet. You can do made to order omelets. Yeah, there's about 10 different toppings. It's very back. You'll see these numbers around and that's the attendant you go to and they'll make you an omelet to order. We've got eggs, bacon, sausage. These look really good. All kinds of pastries. Of course, the Mickey waffles. We also have normal pancakes and blueberry pancakes. All the toppings over here, eggs benedict, tomato eggs benedict, and the hash browns are amazing. Also got some beans over here. Corned beef hash, scrambled eggs, mushrooms, even tofu. There's some potatoes and grilled tomatoes. And you can also grab all these different kinds of meats and cheeses. There's also a very awesome selection for your yogurt. How is it? Delicious. It's nice when you can pick what you want. I also found this interesting hot sauce. It says it's called sambal. I got this ham and cheese croissant, which is really good. And then look how beautiful my yogurt is. Doesn't it look so healthy? The only healthy thing I'll eat today. Stanley is talking to us. I might cry. Just get out there and have a marvelous day. Excelsior! Excelsior! Hey, how's it going? Go. I love your shirt. You know, you look a lot like the background. You could probably like blend in. You may or may not be our favorite Avenger for our whole family. Are you your favorite Avenger? Yes. You can't tell, but I'm blushing. So besides me, who's your favorite superhero? Ant-Man. Ant-Man? Have you guys met him yet? No. He is so funny. He's so cool. And he's usually hanging out with his with his friend the Wasp. You gotta make sure if you see Ant-Man, tell him to fight each other. Okay. If you had to go into battle and could only have one Avenger beside you, which one would it be? I'm gonna say me. Because there's this one time that I met two other me's and it was crazy. It was like having <laughs> brothers. It was so cool. Is that, okay? is that an okay answer? Yeah. Did you see that story of mine where there's two other me's? Yeah. It was so cool. I'm sorry, I get so excited I just start talking. I don't know if we should say this, but we do have a favorite version of you. And it's it's you. It's, it's me? you. Yes. I'm just trying my best looking out for the little guys. Always looking and out for the little guys. we got two little guys right here. All right, let me see your best action pose. So that's more of a heroic pose, but we'll take it. All right, I'm gonna give you a crash course on superhero poses, okay? Bend all the way down, knees apart, hands in the middle. Looking good. Have your one foot, stick it all the way up. Oh, 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 oh. Now with this hand, you're gonna lift it all the way up like this. With this hand, you're gonna lift it all the way up like this. Well, here's a party waiting to happen, or already happening. 
definitely wow. already happening. Kid, aren't you supposed to be in school? All right, I'll let it slide. Since you're Spider-Man, okay, I want a picture with Spider-Man. Pose like a spider. I'll pose like an iron. <laughs> I am literally sweating. I was so nervous to meet Spider-Man. He's my favorite. That did not disappoint. The character meet and greets are amazing so far. I might cry a little bit. This is the best day ever. Marvel Rice Krispie Treats. We're doing our daily check-in at Vista Cafe. Pixar Day at Sea. On our last cruise, they had these, but it said Pixar on them. And they still had these. Yeah, they did have these. And these are good, too, the orange chocolate cupcakes. Yeah. It's a day at sea, and so these are the days when you're walking and you're looking out the windows. You feel like you're going three times the speed. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a superhero run. <laughs> you get coladas, you get caught in the rain. In some videos that we've seen, it's Star Lord and Groot, but we have Gamora and Groot. Still really good though. She kicks booty. <laughs> Many symbols of the heroes of here on Terra, is that true? I do remember the spider person. He was very impressive. Do you have anything quite like this on this planet? We have the streak. So you do have a streak. And that's why they have to say it. He's wondering if they speak his language. They don't speak at all. I know, that's crazy. So I guess you are the only one here. <laughs> if you were going into battle and you could only have one Avenger. <laughs> one Avenger by myself. I would probably select Thor. He's very mighty in battle and I've seen it firsthand. Black Widow I think would be incredible too. What about you, Drew? Which Avenger would you have joined? Maybe join the Guardians. He enjoys Thor as well. He has a nickname for him, Tree. Make it a long one. Are you here to join in my glorious purpose? Yes. <laughs> Skyla's like, sure. <laughs> then we sign out. This signature is a notice of our agreement. You shall beckon my call. Show him who's on the front of yours. <laughs> yes, you shall do well in my empire. <laughs> TBA. Yeah. We asked Loki the question of which Avenger he would team up with and what did he say? He said either his brother Thor or because he teamed up with the Hulk before the Hulk. <laughs> what song are they playing? It's the musical. Rogers the musical. Yeah. I could do this all day. What's up? The next dance we're going to be learning is the balance dance. That's the dance where you prep yourself. I got here 30 minutes early to get in line for Captain Marvel. There's about four families in front of us. The line is now extremely long. The kids went and did the midship detective with Scott while I was waiting because they get antsy in line. So it was a win-win, but these lines are intense on Marvel Day at Sea, so plan accordingly. Have you been on any missions today? Meeting as many characters as we can. Have you met Miss Marvel yet? No. We are going to meet her today, though. Would you like to join Kamala's team? She's got a pretty cool mentor. We're trying to herd and teach all of the new Florican kitties on my ship how to behave. There's over 500 of them. Oof. We need help naming them. Scratch. Mom. <laughs> oh, well, Fury will think that's adorable. All right, so when you meet Miss Marvel, will you tell her those names and she'll add them to the list for me? I knew I could trust you too. If you had to go into battle and you could only have one Avenger by your side, who would it be? I'll have to say Miss Marvel. She's a new hero, but she's been working super hard and I know she would do anything for me. You're the one I want on my team. You're the best. Bring it in. <laughs> you know, I don't do this much, but you make Thank great you heroes. So much. All right, Thank you. Give those fortune names for me. Let okay, me we'll know. do it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. The line just goes and goes and goes and goes and, and goes. out the door. Mom, oh, I'm sorry, we're in Hawkeye. Oh. <laughs> Looking heroic? We just dropped the kids off at the Oceaneer Club, and Holden loves Hawkeye. Hawkeye is walking around with Kate right now. They're just chatting with people. They said they're looking for some babies. The reason they're looking for babies is because the little hero dash is about to begin where babies race each other, and it is one of the funniest things you will see on a Disney cruise. Come to daddy, come to daddy. Yeah, well done. Then don't cross the line. Yeah, we win the race. If the win, could we, uh, could we please put money in overseas uh, untraceable bank account? Everyone here knows we don't get all the babies. A cruise with no baby gambling? No. What kind of operation is this? It is time for the Little Hero Dash! 
dramatically rises from the ground and takes their first steps. Well then, the atrium will go crazy and wild! Yes, it's a magical moment, that baby yeah, just took their first steps, and then we will disqualify the baby. 18 pounds. Oh, it's called a tesseract. to meet Miss Marvel while Scott went and got the kids from the Oceaneer Club. Was the line just as long? Oh yeah, it took 10 to 15 minutes and then it took a long time for Holden to say, well, they never called my name. <laughs> he got lost. Yeah. <laughs> and then you went to Cabana's for lunch with the kids. So I have a little charcuterie and a little sweet treat. The line was not long in advance to meet Miss Marvel. I got there a half hour prior and I was first in line and there wasn't that many people waiting after me, but I think it's just depending on the time of day and what other characters are meeting, sometimes the lines are just gonna be crazy. So you just yeah. don't know. You have to prepare for the lines being long. But that one wasn't too bad. Holden had to do a quick change because we're going to see... The Doctor Strange show. So we are geared out. The rest of us will be changed in a minute, but... Oh yeah, we're going up there. We just checked out Strange Academy, a spellbinding spectacular in the Walt Disney Theater. I thought it was really cool and really well done. I really liked when they did the portals. There was a lot of pyro and cool screens with things happening on them. We got to see Agatha. That was and a surprise. I didn't expect that. That Ant was really cool. Ant-Man was there too. Ant-Man, Wong, Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Now we are waiting in line for Shuri. Holden and Scott are going to relax in the room for a little bit, maybe take a little snooze. And what are you doing right now? I'm doing the midship detective. I'm working on the case of the missing puppies. It could be Captain Hook, Maleficent, Cruella de Vil, Jafar, Evil Queen, Dr. Facilier, or Yzma. I really think it's going to be Yzma. You look so cool with these awesome books. <laughs> You can say him in the box. I think one of you two is going to be one of you. I like him so much. Hope is definitely my favorite superhero, of course. She trained me up, did you know that? That's right. Yes. Who do you see? We've met Miss Marvel, Captain Whoa. Marvel, Iron Man, Spider Man. Whoa! Groot, Gamora, Gamora, Gamora Guardian. Okay, I think it's about time that we make you a superhero that has come back. We're trying to get a group of new team members on. <laughs> and you get to design your suit and what superpower you want. So, what color suit do you want? Know? Blue. You had to go into battle, and you can only take one Avenger with you. Who would it be? And you can't choose Captain America, without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> she saw I was going to choose you, but now since we're doing that, I'll take Iron Man. Thank yeah, who would you bring? That's a very good question. That's an awesome question. Good who would choices. You bring? My mom. Oh, that's oh cool. My I didn't know that was an option. I would have brought that's you too. The best. I didn't realize Thank that was, was an option. <laughs> You keep studying in math. You will start doing a lot of great things, okay? You really inspire her. 
with how smart you are and how brave. My brother, he taught me everything that I know. I'm sure your parents teach you a lot of things too. Yes. I think you're very smart. You keep studying, you will go very far. Oh, you put me on the spot. Okay, this is embarrassing. I would have to say Spider-Man. He's also very smart too. You're and right. With both of our brains, we would accomplish a lot. I just wanted to point out that she signs it as Black Panther because she's the new Black Panther. And she told you to keep studying math and science. And I will excel in calculus. Ooh. Now it's time for Warriors of Wakanda, which is happening a few times throughout the day. I am a Koye, General, a Redoran Alonje, sent in on special assignment from the Black Panther to personally train all of you recruits to become Koye allies. Of Wakanda, as you defend this other part of Wakanda, it is our sole mission to protect the legacy and myth of the Black Panther. Our culture has been passed down from generation to generation, and through our traditions, we both have had change for the years. With the power of our granium on our side, what is the part of you that is indestructible, and what is your brain? My brain. <laughs> could give one tip it is to hang around the atrium we have seen so many characters there today and they want to chat with you it's such a nice way to see everybody and not have to wait in those lines now it's time to head to the marvel costume celebration i'm sure some people are going to be very decked out they did a similar thing on the pixar day at sea sailing we saw everyone participating in it and i told scott we have got to do it this time scott and i are wearing halloween costumes that we have from a couple years ago and then holden requested dr strange skyla requested scarlet witch we got pixie dusted. So these are magnets. Got and the one that says the Disney dream. So maybe we'll pixie dust them back. Oh yeah, for sure. That is so cool. And then there's more in here. What? There's some stickers and a poppet and another one of those. Skylar wrote this out and people are filling it out. That's so cool. Thank you, Cabin6068. Did you ever think that one day you would be putting on an Iron Man mustache? Nope, especially not when a ship's moving. <laughs> are you ready for this?
Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, Pluto, Chip and Dale all came out in their Avengers costumes. There was a mad dash meet and greet with them. So all of the families were shooting up to them to get pictures. Got a little crowded for us. So we came out to play shuffleboard. <laughs> Why not? The ultimate multiverser. We met them. The ultimate multiverser. Then what do you think we should call it? Well, I... Uh, the ultimate multiverser is... See you the night! See you the night, Ant-Man! That's called cheating, Wanda. I think you're getting in touch with your villain side. Okay. It feels so good out here. The kids humored me taking all of the posed photos with the backdrops that I wanted to take and then they were ready to get their costumes off. So they're gonna go do that. I'm gonna go see the Captain America show. It's a USO type of performance and it happens at six o'clock and eight o'clock. So I'm gonna hit the six o'clock performance and I think we're gonna see an appearance by Captain America himself. <laughs> Out of our costumes. Now I'm gonna head down and meet Scott who just dropped the kids off at the Oceaneer Club to spend a little time before the deck party so I'm gonna go see what he's up to. I found Scott <laughs> having an adult beverage. In a place with near silence. Although you can't escape the music. Yeah. Fancy, thank you so much. This just may be the coolest drink of the day. We weren't sure earlier when we got it if it was the drink of the day, but it is. 850 versus 650, but it's schnapps, absolute vodka, and the blue mix is also a alcoholic liqueur of some sort. This one, they also rim the glass. And you get the yeah. little glow thing. I mean, that's like super fun. So now the kids each have one. That's why we had to get so, two, obviously. $10 after automatic gratuity. Now we're up here on deck 11 getting ready for Mickey and Minnie's superhero celebration. It happens at 7.30. It's 7.15 right now. And so there are a lot of people standing up front, but there's still a lot of places to be and a lot of places around deck 11. The pool's closed at six today because with the evening entertainment, they have to kind of get the pool deck area ready for it. So just be aware of that. The kids really wanted to come swimming, but they just went to the Oceaneer Club instead. No big deal. All of you standing up for those of you and always staying true to yourself. Responsibility means always
on your belt? I don't have a belt. Well, you need a belt. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, he's got a problem. People don't know who he is. He's not on their shirts. In the autograph books, he's, he's got blonde hair. <laughs> Tony Stark was talking about who their marketing director is. I mean, maybe you, know, you gotta hit him up. Maybe you two. Yeah. Appetizers, oh, they're categorized Black Widows, Black Panthers, Iron Mans, and Captain Americas. Definitely got to get that crab cake. Thor, Hawkeye, Incredible Hulk, Scarlet Witch, and then we still have the lighter note options. There's also specialty drinks, so there's Wakanda Tasting Lab, Endgame, and then we have a Zero Proof Quantum Core Sipper. We have an awesome mixed sundae, a Ravager's Devil's Food Cake, Bounty Hunter, and the Collector's Warm Apple Crisp. The signature dessert is Southern Nights. The kids actually ordered off of the grown-up menu tonight, but Skyla did want that warm chocolate fudge brownie cookie. So many characters came out. Miss Marvel, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Shang-Chi, Thor, Mighty Thor, Loki, Hawkeye, Shuri, the new strawberry and walnut salad with goat cheese. That looks really good. Here is the Wakandan Peri Peri with cilantro, ginger, and chili marinated chicken with papaya coconut salsa. Very nice. The sauce that goes with it, also very delicious. Dr. Banner's greens and lobster tail. This gnocchi looks delicious. Here are the noodles and the beef tenderloin. And Skyla got some healthy chicken. I'm not gonna eat any of that vegetable stuff. It was just nice and light and refreshing with so many other kind of heavy things, vegetarian, but then we took some of Holden's veggies and I put it in there. The beef tenderloin tonight was better than last night. It's all been very good options tonight, better than last night. They were all winners. How was the lobster? It was good. Eat your veggies, kids. You only ate the lobster part? Yeah. That's not how this works. You took me on a Disney cruise, I can eat whatever I want. That is kind of true. 
Okay, you can eat the chocolate now. One bug. Normally, normally there would be um, some vanilla ice cream on top, but I decided that would be too much for tonight. Look at you being moderate with your sugar intake. I know my limits. It's devil's food cake is this one, and then this is uh, apple crumble of some sort with ice cream on it. Looks, it looks really good. Yeah. She convinced us to get this one. It wasn't going to be our top choice, but it looks good. She said get one of each. Yeah, not why not? All, but except for the sugar-free option. This little tort is really cute, too. This one's a vanilla cheesecake. And the server said if this would be her go-to. It's good. Let's just show you. Uh, this is cheap. That's correct. Ooh. That's more. Skylar, you're going to have to do these for Christmas yeah. next year. I'm not yeah, doing Yeah, you can do for your uh, Christmas dinner. Yeah. Look at that tree. That is so cute. Very nice. Oh, my oh. God. She's right. Oh, it's going to be the rose. Uh-huh. And that's perfect for Royal Palace. Yeah. That is Oh, wow. Oh, my God. A TV show, Jennifer College from HBO. Remember? Oh, White she Lotus. She was the, the Lotus. It's the Lotus. I'm so blown away that you can do this. Uh -huh. Let's see my vacation. See that four, there's four more coming from what? down here. So this is the Lotus flower. Wow. Beautiful. That's for a small dinner party. You yeah. have only four guests. <laughs> <laughs> We're back up on deck 12 for Heroes Unite. We're ready to see the Avengers. some technology that is really going to blow your mind. I may have invited a few friends. From King Technology, my friends and colleagues, Hope Van Dyne and Scott Lang. Or should I say, Ant-Man and the Watch. Oh, I feel like I'm in a rock band. Next, we have a true patriot in our symbol of freedom, Sam Wilson. Wow, I was kind of expecting you to show off your fancy wings, Sam. Well, I didn't want to outdo your entrance, Tony. Wings in the shop, huh? <laughs> You're just mad you don't have wings. So true. All right, settle down. The ultimate multiverser. Using PIM technology and their knowledge of the quantum realm and my expertise of time variables and outcomes, we are now able to use the multiverser to bend time and space to experience infinite multiverses. He was the device and nobody gets hurt. Who's gonna hurt us? You, bro? Oh, yes. Very big time. Who are they? Kate Bishop? Good to see you, kid. Is Hawkeye gonna join us? Oh, he said he needed some away from Tony time. That's it. No Christmas card this year. Here's your answer. Hey, nice shot, Merida.
Yes, we have a master of martial arts. He's fought villains, slain demons. Hey, he's even tamed dragons. Here he is, Shang-Chi. Mr. Stark! What is it? I don't even have you on my schedule. Oh, yes, sorry. That's because I'm from another multiverse? We had better get him back home. This kind of technology would be dangerous in the wrong hands. You're right! Any second now, a group called the Tracksuit Mafia is going to attack your presentation. See what you can do to get yourself home. And you, keep an eye on him. And don't stay up past your bedtime. Oh no, I don't have a bedtime. Can we do this fast? Because I, I, I do have a bedtime.
Pietro, Vision, my boys. Everything has been taken from me. Why not this? We have to keep trying. You, you're coming with me. <laughs> you know, this really doesn't concern me anymore. Wait. Give up, Nebula. You're all alone now. I think you've got more to worry about than me. about to head back into the Oceaneer Club, but first, what did you think of Heroes Unite? It was, it was the best show. Um, absolutely amazing. I love how they included all the characters. When Kate Bishop came down on the zip line, that was really cool. A lot yeah. of them came in and out on zip lines. Yeah. yeah. Spider-Man was some of them across flying. buildings. Spider-Man yeah. was everywhere, all over the place. I think I liked how they based the storyline of him going to the other realms, so that that's how they included every single character that they could. I liked that in every multiverse there was a different news announcer too. Yeah. So you knew you were in a new multiverse. Yeah. Like my favorite news announcer was the second one, who kind of kicked butt. From Miami. Yeah, she went. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me. All right, go have fun seeing the Avengers Bye. in the Oceaneer Club. Bye. Bye. While the kids are in the Oceaneer Club, we're gonna head down to Evolution. It's gonna be called the Ravagers Club right now. So I'm assuming it's Guardians of the Galaxy themed. We're probably gonna see Star Lord. I don't know. Maybe it's like a dance party. We'll we'll see what it's like. <laughs> Oceaneer Club. It was, it was a lot of fun. So that thing was the same thing that we did earlier. It was the Avengers training initiative you did. Yeah, so we've done it twice now. Ready, battle pose, aim, attack. And you throw your frisbee at the alien spaceship thing that comes in. And, and your frisbee has a Captain America shield. I'll practice my superhero moves over here. We have Meow meow! <laughs> I'm worthy! Mjolnir, I'm worthy. Are you worthy? Ah. You are worthy! <laughs> Is Holden worthy? Oh, <laughs> I think I you think got a little a no. bit of Loki in you. <laughs> we also got a pixie dust from the Brown family. It says color your world and they made us crayons. This is another one from the Brown family. Look how beautiful this bracelet is. We are ordering room service for breakfast. So you just put in the time that you want it delivered. 
Here are the options. They're all cold options, but we just want a quick breakfast before our Cozumel excursion, so it's perfect for us. Thank you so much for coming along with us for Marvel Day at Sea. This felt like two days in one day. I feel like we did so many things and we didn't even do everything that we wanted to do. We wanted to do one of the classes where we could learn how to draw a superhero. They had this schedule packed. There were so many options of things to do for everyone in the family. Before the cruise, I was so worried about booking those three character experiences. But after today, I realized you really have so many opportunities to meet the characters. If you stay anywhere near the atrium, you are going to see characters throughout the day. And especially right before dinner, we saw almost every single Avenger was there. The kids really liked that atmosphere of just getting to walk around with them and have little adventures with them, little conversations. It was nice having the meet and greet experiences throughout the day, but I really liked the chaotic <laughs> meet and greets more actually. Once we got on board, I was very happy to see that some of the Marvel characters are meeting on other days throughout the cruise. So even if you don't get a chance to see them on Marvel Day at Sea, there are other opportunities to see the characters. We will definitely be meeting more throughout throughout the sailing. We loved the Doctor Strange show, Warriors of Wakanda. The kids got to do the Avengers Trading Initiative. Both of the shows were amazing. Gotta love seeing Mickey and all of his friends in their Avengers gear. That was so cute. And then we loved the final show of the evening with the fireworks, everybody being on stage together. I got chills. It was just such a well done show. So we highly recommend being there for that. It is at 10.15. It's late if you have little ones, but it is really amazing. We were a little bit worried having the late dining time at 8.15 of being able to get to the 10.15 show because you're having multiple courses at dinner and you don't wanna rush it, but we kind of rushed it tonight. We still got to eat everything that we wanted to. We ended up getting up there at 9.30 and it was still hard to find a front row spot along the railing. People who have the early dining definitely have an option to get there sooner and people were already camped out 45 minutes prior. We haven't talked about the food all that much, but we really liked the Marvel Day at Sea food offerings. We've had our first two days in Royal Palace. Our next two days will be an Animator's Palette and our last night will be an Enchanted Garden. I also haven't mentioned this yet. We are not seated with another family. I don't know if it's because they just had enough space to separate the tables. We are seated near another family of four, but not close enough that we've been chatting with them. And the kids were kind of bummed. They wanted to be seated with another family. That was one of the things that they love the most on the fantasy. But if you like having your own table, Good news, it's a possibility even if you don't ask for it. The cast members on this ship are so cool. They've recognized the kids already, even though it's only the second day. We've had the counselors in the Oceaneer Club saying, oh, I know Skyla and Holden, and cast members saying hello everywhere we go. So it's been really nice. It already feels like home. The bottom line of today is if you are a fan of Marvel, the comics, or the MCU films, which is how we got into our love of Marvel, this is such an incredible experience. I'm so happy we got to experience this together as a family. It has been an epic day and we still have three more days. We can't wait to share more with you. Tomorrow we're off to Cozumel and we have an excursion planned. So we will see you soon.